Hi, I'm Brad. I'm going to show you a little software trick I wrote uh, to capture complete amplitude and phase boat plots from just a DSO and a Linux box. So here we go. So here's the circuit again, just for reference. Uh, you can see that it's just built from whatever I had in my parts bin. Um, moving over here is on the breadboard, you can see the amp amp, resistors. Got two signals going in from the oscilloscope, input and out, and then I'm feeding a signal in from the wave gen and looking at everything on the scope. So here you can see the input on the top, output in green on the bottom, and then an FFT. Um, and as I change the frequency of the wave gen, you can see that the circuit responds in kind. So uh, just an FYI, if you're interested in coding more like this um, or adapting my code, Agilent puts out two really, really nice guides. One is the programmer's guide, and that features all the instructions you'd need, as well as using Linux to control USB instruments. And really, the only reason I use this guide, because it has a quick little snippet of C down at the bottom, um, and I just passed it. <laughs> that shows you kind of how to set up um, the file descriptor. And it's really easy, uh, but you really don't care about this stuff, so let's get to the goodies. All right, so I've got a Debian Squeeze uh, virtual box session going, um, where I'm actually gonna talk with the oscilloscope using my software. I decided to do it through Linux because programming C on Linux is my native language. You can see the Debian um, makes that device node root owned and so we have to run this through sudo but I'm going to run it starting at 1 kilohertz I'm going to end at 10 kilohertz and I'm going to sample 500 points and we're just going to save that output to bode.txt doesn't matter what so we're going to start that clearly it needs my password because it's sudo and yep the scope is running so we're going to collect this data and we can tail the output and see what it's actually doing Really all it's going to give you is frequency, amplitude, amplitude, phase, and that's it. That is as easy as it gets. Well, I clearly don't want to bore you with all of these captures, and so I'm going to show you what a finished product looks like. So here you can see we've measured and uh, estimated what the theoretical transfer function should be, and they match really well. Um, the darker lines are the theoretical values, and I calculated those in octave and then the lighter points are the sampled values for the Salon key filter uh, breadboarded circuit. So they agree pretty well. Now the code here is all going to be included in a little tar file uh, right here and it includes some octave code or MATLAB code, whatever you want to run it in, as well as a nice GNU plot script to visualize your final product. So uh, yeah, have fun with all that. So there you go. Um, if you've got a little patience, a Linux box and an oscilloscope, you can use this code. Um, I'm going to post a link in the description to where you can download that um, with instructions and some info, a readme file, and all that. Um, probably going to link to Dave's video too, just because I thought it was a really cool technique. Um, that's about it.